this video may be viewed as very uh, insensitive, controversial, and it's not my intent that it be, uh, how should I say, viewed as something to attack another individual because it's not for that reason. This is something that I'm uh, pretty adamant about this particular subject here. But uh, I want you to follow me anyway, and I don't plan to be with you long. I just want to touch on uh, something that just occurred recently and to give you my insight and, and my view as it relates to the subject of men wearing dresses. Here recently, there was an American actor, a black man, if you will, Billy Porter. I saw him on the internet uh, wearing a black dress. They call it a gown. And um, body language looked as though he had been okay with it. And they said he turned heads and he was the talk of the Oscars, which recently aired the past several days. But I felt a certain way when I saw that image, that picture of this black man, African American, if you will, wearing this long black gown. I'm certain that Billy Porter is a great actor. I applaud him for his musical accomplishments in uh, the stage arena and in acting and musical and just the whole gamut of things that he does. I applaud him in that regard. But I take issue, this is me personally, I take issue with a man wearing a dress. So stop. I am however guilty. I'm guilty because there are many comedians that I have grown to love, and many of us for that matter, over the years, that have portrayed characters in their uh, plays, in their television shows. For example, Martin Lawrence plays Shanene, a woman, as one of the characters, the many characters in his television show. Jamie Foxx, when he did In Living Color, he did Wanda. I love both of those men equally well as performers and actors and, and musical talent uh, or musical talent such as Jamie Foxx. And then back in the day, Flip Wilson played Geraldine. Now, sometimes we just simply don't know when we're growing up and this is what we're exposed to. We don't know all of the ramifications of the things that we see with our eyes sometimes and it's not until later years we begin to uh, get to a point where we become more mature and more critical of things as we age. And I'm one of those individuals. But I say to my shame that I have enjoyed those individuals that I just mentioned, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, and uh, even uh, Tyler Perry doing Madeira. I've enjoyed these characters or characterizations of women over the years but outside of that they are who they are for the most part they are masculine they are actually heterosexual men to the best of my knowledge now with that said it would have been unfair for me to just point the finger at Billy Porter wearing a dress and not address the other individuals that I have grown to enjoy over the years but here's where the rubber meets the road and I'm, I'm becoming uh, truthful with myself. Despite how I have enjoyed those other actors throughout the years, I still believe and stand firm that a man is not supposed to wear a woman's clothes. That's why it's called women's clothes. Now we can say what well, is part of my act or uh, I'm just participating uh, in this uh, play or this movie or this uh, segment of this particular film and I'm just going to wear it for this one scene 
and so forth. We can make all of the excuses in the world and give all of the reasons. But does it still make it right? I'm not the one, the only one, I should say, that has this viewpoint. There are many, many, many people like Brother Teacher. Dave Chappelle will tell you that he is one like me. Because he refused to wear a dress in a movie. And then he took a hiatus to Africa. You know the story. Now, he's a famous comedian. One of the top comedians. And he would not bow down to that pressure of wearing that dress. But there have been many who didn't care. Kevin Hart. Wesley Snipes. Tu Wong Fu. Uh, and the list goes on. But my stance is still firm. I think Billy Porter wearing that dress during the Oscars was a misrepresentation of a man. It was a misrepresentation of a black man. It was a disservice to being a man. Period. You can call it what you want. He can call it what he wants. He can say that I'm trying to make a statement. What statement are you trying to make? I'm not beating up on him the person. I'm just simply saying we all should learn to stay in our lanes and, and stop changing the order of things as it was intended to be. A woman is a woman. She has her own attire. A man is a man. He has his own attire. I know there's a debate and there's an argument that women wear pants and so forth. But there are pants that are made for women. But there's not dresses that's made for men. Now, notwithstanding, culturally, some countries, such as Ireland, they wear a kilt for certain ceremonies. I understand this. That's not the same thing. If you do some research, if you do some study, you will find that that's not the same thing. What Billy Porter did was off the cuff. It was inappropriate behavior. That's it. And that's all. What do you think?